Hello everyone, Mary Ann here, Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I want to look at Earth Signs for July 2024. This is for your sun, your rising or your moon sign. If uh, any of those are in these Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you might want to check this out. There will be timestamps uh, for each sign in the drop down menu below this video. These are general readings only. If they don't resonate, that's fine. Move on. Uh, a general reading for, you know, 40,000 people is not going to fit everybody. But if it does resonate with you, then uh, please claim the reading. I uh, also want to give a warning uh, to anyone who is approached for personal readings by someone pretending to be me. It's not me. I don't do personal readings. Please block and, and report anybody uh, that is trying to scam you in any way. Okay, so let's start off with Taurus. What's happening for my friends Taurus? I'm using the Gilded uh, Tarot Royale and the uh, Accurate AF Tarot. Um, and if I feel like it, I'll pull some Witch Ruin, Runes, <laughs> Ruins, Runes, R-U-N-E-S. All right, <clears throat> if, I, if we've got the time. So let's have a look at Taurus. Taurus, what's happening for Taurus, please? Can you show me what is happening for Taurus? So I feel some of you have a goal. Uh, it's like light. It's You can see it off in the distance. Um, and I think what is the goal? The goal is to chill, to relax, to because I'm seeing someone surfing at the beach on holidays. It's like suddenly you go, okay, I want to luxuriate in this kind of earthly, Dorian, earthly kind of um sensuality in a way and I'm using that word in terms of pampering of um, the positive connotations of luxury of taking time out of enjoying yourself yourself and experiencing some of you could actually be planning to do just that in July <clears throat> all right so um, the goal is to relax more have more more fun less drama um and you see that as restorative. Okay, so what's happening with Taurus, please, in July? So we get here the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, feeling uh, this is the victim card. Uh, and, of course, this woman is looking at the inside. These people are locked out. Uh, this other person can't, can't do any more than kind of beg for money. Uh, and there's a great feeling of being left out, of being locked out of everything. But then we pull your card, the Hierophant. Uh, this is Tori in, uh, in the Major Arcana. And this is spiritual. This is the light coming through. There's the light. Uh, and it's like having faith and hope uh, restored here again. We get the Knight of Wands. So there's a, a definite move back toward greater motivation, passion to achieve something, to achieve whatever the goal is that you're working on. Uh, we get the Six of Cups. The past is in the past. So some of you may have put to bed past issues uh, or are trying to, uh, but I see the past in the past. So I, I think there's a success here that you've been able to do that. We get the subconscious realm in uh, is crowning this reading, um, influencing a potential influence of this reading. And this is embracing, you know, embracing uh, the subconscious, embracing your intuition, embracing the realms that are not the um, intuitive realms that maybe aren't as, don't come as naturally to you as to some other signs like Pisces and uh, Cancerians, uh, Sagittarians, Scorpios, um, people that are very comfortable in the subconscious realm. Not you though, but however, this is crowning your reading. That's interesting. Uh, the Eight of Swords, paranoia and restriction. So maybe the intuition comes as to what is making you so, making you worried, making you not go out and experiencing the fullness of life. We get judgment and inevitability here. I think there's an inevitability of change here for you. And we get the hermit card down the tunnel uh, and uh, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. 
So you will get to where you want to go. Uh, the King of Cups, uh, water energy. This is to do with your emotions. You know, metaphorically, it's a beach. Metaphorically, it's water. But, you know, it's about your maturity. Uh, it's about the element of water, the emotions. Have you been frightened of your emotions in the past? It seems like there's some sort of coming to terms with them and also coming to terms with the things that make you anxious, perhaps the future, perhaps what isn't seen yet. And so I see here a healing here in relation to what uh, what is not concrete that may uh, make you anxious, that may take you away from that earth uh, earth energy, um, that that concreteness of yours, um, and we get uh, giving and receiving help. So, I feel like um, you're aware of how much pro progress you've made in relation to not being worried or frightened or concerned about your emotions, but embracing them. And also, it's not actually the emotions here for some. It's around this subconscious um, spiritual type of energy. And of course, if you are going to be the hierophant, the, the higher octave of Taurus, then you do have to have a connection to spirit. And you do have to understand the um, breadth of what we are as human beings. We aren't just in the third dimension. We are almost in the spirit. We were not almost. We can be in that spiritual realm as well, in that unseen realm that perhaps you're not all that comfortable with. Now, we have here this kind of partisan, competitive energy. It's embracing what you know to be true. It's, a, it's a embracing what that inner knowledge of you, of you, which, of, your, of yourself, well, not of yourself, of other people, and trusting it, trusting your intuition. We get an ending of something and a newness here, and we get these celebrations and circles of support. Part of this is also recognizing how you've been helped in the past uh, and being grateful for that help too. Now, some of that help can be spiritual help. Some of that help can be the universe and car, you know, understanding your ever your own evolution toward uh, this higher expression of Taurus, this hierophant, um, beyond just the institutions of this current Earth, but having your faith in uh, in what is not seen uh, and faith in, um, if you want to say God, spirit, um, the divine, divine connection. Some of you could be feeling more connected divinely and also to your higher self all right this what two these two cards wanted to come out the queen of cups authentic and virtuous um and really again that that is i it's been my experience it is how taurians actually um that's one side of taurus they they are able to be authentic or they like or they value authenticity. And we get here uh, the tower, disruption and conflict. Okay, so let's have one more. So things have changed or are changing. Your beliefs uh, have changed. If you look at yourself, maybe even three, two or three years ago, you'll see how much they've changed. And uh, it's being able to trust your own intuition that has led, being able to trust yourself, not just what you can see and feel, like not just the concrete, but what is hidden from you. You're more trusting of your own intuition. Okay, one more card for Taurus, please. And we get here the... Uh, the hanged man, transition and sacrifice, yeah. There's always a sacrifice when we change, when we evolve. Um, it's always as a result of us suspending those fixed beliefs that stop progress, uh, of giving way. I keep saying that Taurus is determined. You're a fixed sign. You're very determined, but sometimes you have to 
allow yourself to flow. And there's that water energy here again. We have here at the base of the pack, the Ten of Wands, responsibilities and challenges. That's putting in the hard work. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, uh, investment and diligence. Again, manifestation um, and working hard. And then the Magician, synchronicity and manif uh, manifestation. So you are manifesting. You're closer to the future that you want to manifest. You are in a manifestation cycle. And you are moving from that Five of Pentacles energy through to the Hierophant energy. Um, you're learning and evolving. And flexibility is part of that. Okay, let's move to Capricorn at 10.45. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oops. The Eight of Swords wants to come out. Okay. Restriction. Feeling restricted. You can't restrict a, a Capricorn. Sometimes they're... Confidence is not where it should be. I've never understood that. Sometimes Capricorns are very, very confident. But they maybe doubt themselves. Capricorn, Earth Energy, ruled by Saturn. Uh, and of course, Saturn's the taskmaster. Holds our feet to the flame. Hard work. Um, <clears throat> and the need to put in the hard work. All right, Capricorn, what's coming up? For Capricorn in July, Capricorn, my Capricornian friends, Capricorn stepping off a ledge onto something, um, taking a risk. Um, you can see the flames down below, but you're willing to walk that ledge to get to where you want to go. Um, you no longer fear uh, something new. You no longer fear change. Um, you're prepared to literally dive off into the flames. What are the flames? It's the, the wand energy, the fire energy, um, creation energy. Okay, Capricorn, if you've been hesitating, I think some of you will take the leap in July. Capricorn, what's coming up for Capricorn in July? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, uh, straight out of the box, we get your card. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is family, it's money, it's investment, uh, it's inheritance. And then we get the <coughs> Page of Pentacles. Uh, this could be, yeah, it's all about your energy, isn't it? It's about newness. It's about state, taking that step forward. Um, you know, I'm not saying you're ignoring risk, but you are um, not concerned with the risk. Uh, this is moving forward in some way. All the pages move forward and you carry your own energy with you um i like that this could be even moving away from family constraints um we get the judgment card there's an inevitability uh here of course you're a cardinal sign you're a leader you do seek out the new and i see you're not hesitating to to take that leap now we get the page uh the six of swords in the past and so uh whatever obstacle or challenge that you were facing it's gone now it's finished um and you're you're you are in a cycle of moving forward and change the nine of pentacles so much of your energy here it's uncanny um this can be it's crowning this region reading you want what you need you want what you are owed uh you want uh, security and stability and it looks like you're on the pathway to get getting that this could be an uptick in, in investments paying off could be an uptick in finances as well there's a lot of pinnacles here now the five of cups um, so there has been and it's it's lingering still um, it may resurrect itself in 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 July there has been this feeling of loss and then there's two cups remaining and um, so whatever, whatever resulted from moving, moving away from trouble could, there could be whatever that situation is for you, it would be different from everybody, could briefly come, uh, come towards you in July. But 
I'm going to encourage you to not to dwell on the past, but to look toward the future because your future seems okay. So your future seems quite abundant. Now we have here the seven of cups in the present. Uh, some of you are making really hard choices. Okay, so that now that makes sense. Uh, could be around your investments, what to invest in, could be where you're going to live, it could be um, where you're going to work, uh, it could be um, just you, your inner, those inner decisions about your own happiness. There's a choice that you face and uh, we get the King of Cups here and that's wisdom and maturity. So really making sure that you're making good choices from maturity, not from tr being triggered or reaction in any way. The five of wands in the hopes and fears, competition, family competition. For some Capricornians that I'm reading about, this is a family situation. It could involve finances. Um, it could even involve someone in the family who may have had some sort of addiction or mental mental kind of challenge you could be facing that yourself um some kind of mental challenge what i don't know what i'm going to do but there's a maturity here that i think is at your disposal that will help you and then we get the queen of pentacles again your energy signature is so so in this reading so to the fore the Queen of Pentacles means you'll get what you want. You will get the security. You will get the finances. You are making progress. You don't need to doubt yourself. You can finish with an old situation. You're coming out on top. You're standing your ground. Um, doesn't matter what the situation is involving. You're triumphant. We get the moon card. Your feelings, the volatility of the feelings and using your intuition. These two very, very intuitive, intuitive, watery cards. Um, so yeah, whatever this challenge was, you're overcoming it. And I know it wasn't easy, the Nine of Wands. I know it involves some sort of disappointment uh, and possibly could have involved the fa a family member or family issues having to make difficult choices, perhaps leaving someone behind, leaving some kind of debt behind. I just see family here. So whatever this troubled situation was that you faced in the past, it will make a brief return in July, but you're coming out on top. You're going to be okay. If, if this is a money situation, you're going to be fine um, with that Queen of Pentacles in the outcome uh, so you're going to have what you need. All right, let's um, let's do a couple of the accurate AF cards for Capricorn. Capricorn, let's just spread them out. They're very difficult to shuffle. Let's just spread them out and get a few. All right, so Capricorn July, Capricorn July, okay. We get here the Four of Wands, Prosperity and Harmony. Yeah, definitely a family. There's a family thing here. A family reunion. You could Some of you could be worried about a family reunion. Um, what have we got here? The uh, Picked Up Two. So we have here the, um, the Moon card again. Intuition, but also Illusion. Intuition, Illusion. So we have here the... Um, the crab coming out of the water going toward the moon intuition and illusion encourage you to use your intuition in any decision making be careful of illusion there's that seven i think there was there a seven of cups there yeah um be very careful in any investments i know you'll do the right thing and then we get the king of pentacles responsibility and abundance again confirming that you actually do come out on top in this situation one more one more i want to go with this one okay and we get the high priestess illumination and knowledge absolutely that's double validation 
illumination and knowledge. By the end of July, you will have no doubts. All will be revealed. You will have made the right decision, Capricorn, I'm sure. Okay, just be, be careful of that illusionary nature, which has popped up a couple of times in these cards. Um, making sure you use your intuition, which is the best guard to making the choices that you will need to make. Okay, let's move now to a Virgo at 2021. Virgo. Oh, I didn't use the witch's runes. I might pull some at the end for all, all earth signs. Um, okay, Virgo, what's coming up for Virgo? Virgo, 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 Virgo. There's something for Earth signs around the emotions because I'm seeing the King of Pentacles and also the Ace of Wands. Sorry, the King of uh, Cups and the Ace of Wands. So there's something around you using your intuition, using, um, I don't know, there's a decision that you need to make. Um, all right, let's see Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's coming up for Virgo? Sorry, that's just a message coming through. I'll deal with it later. Let's cut the cards. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, Virgo. What's coming up for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? Six of Swords. Can be moving out of troubled waters, but you've actually got, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> change course, change course. <laughs> going the wrong way. All right, what is this? <clears throat> Don't head toward having, you know, poking the bear, having continual differences with people. Head for harmony and uh, less conflict, not more. Okay, so we get the Four of Cups. This is arising out of your disappointment here. Disappointed and maybe resentful in some way. Um, these just want to keep something coming to fruition in time, having to make a decision about your future, I think. Okay, uh, Virgo, what's going on for Virgo? So we get the Knight of Wands move. Some could actually be contemplating a move, again, away from trouble. This uh, rider is not running toward the uh, volcano, but riding away from it. Okay, and we have the Ten of Swords, uh, the ending of a cycle. Don't run toward trouble. <laughs> Don't run toward it. You go to go away from it. That's a very clear message. Now we get the King of Pentacles, your energy, or Capricorn Earth energy, Virgo energy, Taurus energy. Um, this is sitting here in your kingly domain, um, having everything you need. There's an abundance and prosperity here. That's the foundation of the reading. But the Knight of Swords is in the past. There's a truth that needed to be faced and it's almost a bit like the Fool card needing to take a leap of faith with the truth. Let me just, um, let me just get uh, out of this beeping. Um, okay. So we have the Eight of Swords, restricted, powerless, feeling like you don't want to move, you don't want to, don't want to take a step here, don't want to take a step there, but you will. <laughs> Page of Wands, you're looking to the future, and there's the Ace of Wands that you're carrying. There's a heavy decision you've got to make. Could be about where you're living at this time. The Nine of Pentacles, a feeling like you've got everything you need. Um, but the Five of Cups in the atmosphere around loss, um, bereavement almost. Um, so you have everything, but there's this feeling of loss. In the hopes and, uh, hopes and fears, we get the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help, um, loans and debts. And then we get strength. So I feel ultimately um, you'll make a decision for your own happiness and uh, it could be around this new taking, making the decision to go in a new direction and to build something, working with others to build something. And then we get the hanged man looking at things in a different way, not through the lens of insecurity, weighing things up, having to make this difficult decision. 
it's heartbreaking. It's hard to make it. Um, but we get love here. We get love and commitment. And we get waiting for one ship to come in and looking to looking to the horizon. Uh, and we get ten of pentacles. Um, money, inheritance, family legacies. We get the devil card. Be, be careful. <laughs> but we get the queen of cups looking after yourself. So fighting your demons um, and heading in the right, well, eventually heading in the right direction because we get the knight of pentacles. And again, this is heading toward uh, the future, but it's not without its volatility, I want to say, uh, with the moon card. It's very challenging, whatever decision that it is that you have to make, it's very challenging. Okay, so let's see, let's see here. Okay, let's see. What do we need to know for Virgo in July? Virgo in July. Let's just spread these out. Again, they're a good deck, but they're way, way too hard to shuffle. Okay, Virgo, Virgo. Where do we want to go here, Virgo? Let's go here. We get here the Ten of Pentacles, culmination and satisfaction. That's twice you've had the Ten of Pentacles. Culmination and satisfaction. Everything's going to be okay, Virgo. You've got the Strength card and the, the Sun. That, they're beautiful, major arcanas in your outcome. We get here the Seven of Swords, confusion and setbacks, maybe in the past. Maybe in the past. Confusion and setbacks makes you a little bit leery or wary of the choice you have to make. The Queen of uh, Pentacles, yeah. Practicality, you make the... The right choice, practicality and generosity. Absolutely, you're heading, you're, this is good karma here, Virgo. And then we have here the Queen of Wands, generosity and tenacity, generosity and tenacity. So yeah, you, you will make the right decision. I do feel, feel for some there's a big decision having to be made and it's hard, very hard for you. Um, some, some of you are actually contemplating moving. Um, but I think you'll make the right decision. Okay, let's just pull these witches runes. I got them at a festival recently. I will have to read their memes, but let's just go for earth signs. Ooh, generally one wanted to come out. Okay, whatever that one is. That wanted to earth signs generally in July. Can you show me the overarching energy? There's a lot of similarity in the readings between the three signs. Earth energy generally. What's happening in July? Okay. Ugh. So we have the moon. And we have the eye. One more. One more. Let's have a look here. And that symbol. Some of those who studied Wicca might, might know these. Okay, let's take the first one. Waves, waves, purification, uh, purification, emotions, intuition, spirituality, transforming, healing, water, the element of change, creation, uh, destruction and nourishment. Purification is also a big indication. In a reading, the waves indicate that our intuition and knowing can discern the truth from illusion. Bang on. In magical workings, the waves can be used to hold the intention of clarity. So using your intuition to cut through illusion and find greater clarity, which is exactly what uh, earth signs want. They're earth signs, uh, after all. Now we've got here the moon. The moon, uh, intuition again, uh, dreams, psychic abilities, emotion, love, shadow work. Again, shadow work. Um, and rituals, it asks us to use our intuition, look into your dreams. Now is the time to be subtle when this rune is drawn. Avoid impulsive actions as, as emotions may be high. There may be manipulation from others that is hidden from your view. Used in magical workings, the moon can illuminate what is hidden. I think in your readings, it's it's... It's this shadow work and it's really being uh, clear with yourself 
Um, okay, now we come to the eye. Not my, I guess not my favourite. I always think of the evil eye, but it's not that. Uh, the eye, wisdom, realisation, awareness, third eye, serving the truth, clairvoyance, someone's watching and protection represents seeing the unseen. So much about illusion, um, sorry, intuition uh, and, and being able to see through illusion here through using your intuition can be a warning of the evil eye or someone is watching. I don't think that's it for you. Place on the altar of magical work, workings to aid clarity. So clarity is an important word here. Um, it's around, again, using your knowing. Uh, that's uh, common in the readings for earth signs to make whatever decisions you have to make. And finally, uh, we have here harvest, abundance, growth, prosperity. There was certainly that. Uh, reaping, manifesting, wealth, finances, family security. I think that's a big one, family security. This rune represents manifestation and reaping the rewards used in magical workings when spell casting, blending energies to, to create something new or, or also for prosperity uh, spells. So again, um, decisions that involve family for some, uh, particularly for Virgo, worried about your own prosperity. I think uh, when we do good work, when we do perform services, it creates abundance uh, and good karma coming our way. And so I feel that there's a breakthrough with all of you, uh, all of you earth signs. Um, it's good energy. It's good karma in July, even though there are difficult decisions there to be made for some Um I, I do see that you choose wisely in the end. Uh, so key message for earth signs, use your intuition in July. Trust it. Trust your inner knowing. It will it will give you the clarity that you need. Thank you for uh, joining me. I'll be back again soon with another reading. Bye for now.